Police say Jones broke into the construction site where a liquor store was being built. He jumped in a forklift, did more than $100,000 in damage. Before Next to a terrifying shootout in Florida. Florida man and also carjacked with suspect leading to police on a long chase through Volusia County. The deadly exchange of gunfire that followed all the kind of the chief's body camp. ABC's dying to say it's a real It's about as close as a close call can get. Watch as the hat on his Florida deputy sets me off his head. White Florida gang members punish black member with racist slur tattoo, but spell it wrong. Welcome back to the sunshine state of racism. What the fuck else could be going on in this state? This story is unique. I skimmed through it before recording this crap, and I'm going to <laughs> let you know this one's interesting. White members of a Florida gang thought they were punishing a black member of their gang when they forcibly tattooed him with what they thought was a racial slur, police said. However, the Marion County Sheriff's Office said the group tattooed fuck the ca I don't think I can do that <laughs> inadvertently cursing the landlocked West African nation. <laughs> I mean, I have a black girlfriend. I, I kind of have the card, but I'm not gonna say, I, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm just gonna let you read, you can read, you can read. <laughs> how did they, how did y'all spell your own racial slur wrong, you fucking retards? Authorities said Lucy and Evans, Brandon Haley, Brett Singleton, and Mary Elizabeth Durham were trying to punish Michael Hart, who apparently violated the gang's rules, the Miami Herald reported Thursday. Evans, Haley, and Durham were charged in the January 28th incident. Evans, 40, was charged with aggravated battery, armed robbery, second degree larceny, fraud in possession of a weapon by a convicted felon. Haley, 28, was charged with battery, aggravated battery, and armed robbery, and Durham, 35, was charged with aggravated battery and armed robbery. Why don't you just say they were all charged with aggravated battery and make it shorter? Singleton, 45, wasn't charged in the incident, according to the Miami Herald. Hart reportedly told authorities Singleton came into his home and demanded that he go with the group to cover his gang tattoo, which read CWB. Hart said Evans and Haley held him down while Singleton started to cover the tattoo and when he tried to wriggle away, he was knocked out by Durham. He said Durham was the one tattooing him. Hart said when he woke up, his phone was gone and his butt was in pain. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that went to a, a, a deep territory. Holy shit! Hang on! This gets way worse! The Miami Herald, citing the arrest affidavit... I almost can say that word. Just give me more time. I'm almost getting there. I'm almost smart enough to get that word. Reported that Hart, quote, felt like he has been sodomized, but didn't provide more details. Well, I wouldn't either! Holy shit! He got a fucking prostate exam while getting a tattoo of a misspelled racial slur. Nice! What in the fuck? So, so what did they? Okay, who was the one that did it? Somebody fucked that guy. Somebody, one of them, and I have a bad feeling it was Durham. Be careful when you're trying to get your tattoos covered up by white gang members. They'll be tattooing racial slurs with only one G on you if you're not too careful. Surely I won't have to look too far to find another story. Well, holy shit, <laughs> that didn't take long at all. Video. Florida man in Speedo waves down deputies to show off his marijuana plant. I fucking love this state. This is a short article, so I'll be showing the video right after, so don't worry. Deputies in Flagler County, Florida received a surprise Thursday when a man wearing a Speedo offered to show them his marijuana plant. Now, anytime I'm about to show anyone my marijuana plants, you gotta be wearing a Speedo. Especially police officers, because I want to be able to be sure to run really quickly, or throw those surprise roundhouse kicks. The incident was caught on body camera. Fantastic. 
So that way we can all watch this garbage. Because we all want to see an old man in a Speedo trying to offer marijuana plants to fucking deputies. The deputies were responding to an unrelated call when another resident waved them over to talk about his marijuana. <laughs> what the fuck? They didn't have anything to do with the guy and he was just like, Come over here! Come over here! Look at my fucking weed! The deputies say the resident, 65-year-old Arthur Carvaceno, was smoking marijuana at the time. You don't say, officer! You don't fucking say! You don't think that this guy was high? Huh! I would assume this guy was stoned off of his fucking gourd! He then walked over to show law enforcement a two-foot-tall marijuana plant growing on his property. Come check this out! You wanna see my fucking Speedo collection too? When deputies asked Caracino if he had a marijuana card, he told them that he was working on it. Sorry, officer, I'm working on it. That's why I was showing you the fucking plant in the first place. Flagler County Jail records show Caracino was arrested on a marijuana charge. Well, I would have never guessed. God damn. Can we watch the fucking video? Hang on, I gotta get my headphones for this. Do you have a, uh, a marijuana card? Or... Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I'm working on it. I have the card. <laughs> Come on, guys, please okay. talk. Is that your plant, though? Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. Even the cops are laughing at you, bro. But at least you're nice enough to be like, Come on, guys, let's talk about this. Come on. Ah, uh, it's not a big deal. I'm working on the license. No big deal at all. Did you grow it? I did. Because you got to smoke a bowl with me, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm not really sure if that was, like, a sad statement or not. <laughs> Like, he's so in open admittedly, he's like, yeah, it's my weed, yeah, I grew it. Can you at least smoke a bowl with me, officer? Please, somebody. <laughs> it's just an old guy in a Speedo wanting a smoking buddy, but he flags down officers to do it at this point. He's so lonely. No one wants to smoke with you, dude. You're tired of seeing your old balls all the goddamn time, shooting those cobweb loads all fucking day. You and Robert Kraft should go back to that fucking day spa. Oh, well, I can't. Uh, I know, you're on duty. Where are you going? I'm up to get my pipe. <laughs> the blatant disregard for any of the procedures these officers are trying to do is, is that was the best. He's like, where are you going? He's like, I'm uh, going to get my pipe. You hang on, I'm going to smoke a bowl while we continue this fucking investigation. <laughs> okay, I need a, okay. a cup of Starbucks. Anywhere local we can get one? We can, unfortunately. Uh, okay. All right, but you are be No, stay out, dog. You are being placed under arrest for okay, for growing marijuana, okay? Okay. That's that's against the law in Florida? Yeah. The motherfucker thought he was actually going to be taken to Starbucks. He was like, I'm so high. Got some cotton mouth. Uh, officers, do you mind like, going to a Starbucks somewhere around here? Like, fuck. Where can I get a drink around here? <laughs> then they just tell him, like, uh, no, sir, uh, but you, you are under arrest. He goes, okay, for what? And they go, for growing marijuana? He goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching the sunshine state of marijuana growers that try to flag down officers to smoke a bowl with them and take them to Starbucks. Please watch your buttholes when you're getting your racial slurs tattooed on you with one G. Have a nice goddamn day.